Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Metrofile on Channels Television. Now, Dafe Akbedeye is known to many as a go-getter, a jolly good fellow, a lover of life, a family man, selfless, and most importantly, a very bright senior advocate of Nigeria. Now, his death on the 6th of October 2020 brought so much pain, too much for his family and loved ones to bear. So on the program today, we celebrate his life and legacy. The Akpedeye family from Delta State have lost a rare gem. The man they call husband, father, son, brother and friend, Mr. Daffy Akpedeye, is no more following his death on October 6, 2020, and it hurts. But the family have decided not to mourn as those who do not have hope, as the Bible preaches. Rather, they celebrate the impactful life he lived during his 59 years on earth, and to that, a befitting lineup of activities for his glorious exit was put together, beginning with a service of songs at the St. Jude's Catholic Church in Furo Delta State. His wife, Nolly, and children, other family members and friends are gradually coming to terms with the sad and painful passing of their beloved, who they miss dearly. The brief service ends and it's followed by a short reception. wants to be left out of these last activities to celebrate Mr. Daffy Apede as friends and associates within and outside the country take time out to celebrate his life. Daffy was exceedingly brilliant and for me that an intelligent human being is always somebody I want to have access to because you will learn. Because we learn every day. Dafe was a teacher's teacher, a consummate lawyer, consummate lawyer, senior advocate of Nigeria, always willing to assist or to guide you. He met 
meant different things to different people, but most importantly, he was a well-respected senior advocate of Nigeria. The next day, his body arrives at the State High Court in Efron, where his colleagues in the judiciary organized a valedictory court session in his honor. court session in honor of late Daphne Akwedehe, S.A.N., holding the High Court of Justice from Delta State. Presiding is my lord, the Honorable Chief Judge of Delta State, Honorable Justice Monshaw Mukuru, supported by other Honorable Judges in the Delta State Judiciary. Is attended by many dignitaries as well as well wishes, including serving and retired judges of the Edo and Delta State Judiciary. And the casket before us was held in high esteem by all our sovereign and satisfied all the prerequisites for earning a special concession, given the way and manner in which it conducted its public and private life when it was alive. How do we describe a man, a teacher, a lawyer, a quintessential gentleman, a man of great character, a man that if you leave his presence, you would remember him. And there's a procession the next day through the streets and finally at the St. Jude's Catholic Church Ephron for the funeral service. Daphne Akwede is a devout Roman Catholic, a fellow knight of the Order of St. Malumba, as their members from far and wide are well represented here.
Alas, the remains of late Daphne Akwedeye are taken out of the church and are finally laid to rest at his country home. After his interment, the family take out time to entertain their guests. <laughs> talks because we were more like we're almost like friends it was more than just the father-daughter relationships like people would hear me talk to my dad at times I wonder oh are you talking to one of your friends that's how close we were so I'm gonna miss that very much I think I learned a lot from him even this last few years where he was sick I learned a lot more we came much closer in terms of like religion and with God also so that was one of the good things yeah. They can do, you know. He was, um, he wasn't a very tall man, but he was very tall in his ideas. He, he believed that there was no ob obstacle to any dream that he would have. He's always been there as a loyal member of the family, quite supportive. We we'll miss him a lot because the death was unexpected. But then, for everything, we have to give thanks to God. I will say that he will be sorely missed because he impacted on every person he met, both family, colleagues, and students. Born on the 16th of May 1961 to the family of Chief Abel Akwede and Chief Mrs. Teresa Akwede in Wari Delta State. Late Daffy Akwede had his primary and secondary school education in Delta State. He aced his O-levels with outstanding grades and subsequently completed his advanced levels at the Institute of Higher Education, Igwebe. Inspired by his late father, Daffy Akwedeye gained admission to study law at the University of Lagos and graduated top of his class in 1983. He subsequently enrolled at the Nigerian Law School and was called to the Nigerian Bar in 1984. Not done with his pursuit for academic achievements, he proceeded to the prestigious Harvard University in the United States where he obtained his master's degree in law. Upon his return to Nigeria, he established his law firm, Daffy Apede Co., which was later renamed Compos Mentis Legal Practitioners, which became a leading indigenous law firm in Nigeria. Going by his love to impart knowledge in the younger generation, Daffy Akwede decided to take up a teaching role at the Delta State University in 1997 and became a senior lecturer in the Faculty of Law until his death. He had over 33 years of legal practice experience spanning litigation, corporate law, arbitration and mediation to groundbreaking expertise in oil and gas and energy law. May his soul rest in peace. Bye.